Harry hugs the heroes as fans scream for selfies with the prince, but there's still no sign of girlfriend Meghan Markle as in those games get ready to go. Prince Harry swept into Toronto amid an outbreak of Harry mania on Friday, and as he hugged an Australian athlete at his Invitos Games showed why he was drawing the crowds. The Prince is in Canada ahead of the opening ceremony of his Games for Wounded Service personnel, where he is expected to make his first public appearance with girlfriend Meghan Markle. A huge crowd was waiting for the Prince after his first appearance in the city. An early morning visit to Scotia Plaza in downtown Toronto for a symposium with participants in the Games, which open on Saturday. Dressed in a blue sports jacket, a white shirt and black jeans, the Royal, 33, beamed at the small crowd that had gathered to see him and shook hands with well-wishers as he arrived. But by the time he was leaving screening fans were lined up for a glimpse of the Royal. And later when he went to the pool, he showed the bantering hug dispensing face of the royal family which has earned him the adulation of the crowds. He stopped to give a hug to runner Kristen Lane, 23, from Brisbane, Australia, who was at the Pan Am Center to watch the swimmers being put through their paces. Lane, who had been dozing when the prince arrived, told Daily Mail. Calm, he woke me up and then we just embraced. I've met him a couple of times before so he must have recognized me. He just said how are you? and we chatted about a few things. The athlete told Daily Mail. Calm that he spent for years in the army before being injured. He received a medical discharge two months ago but said the games is helping him to adjust. Lane said, being here is awesome. The whole journey has been really good and it's great being here with all the guys. The 23-year-old will compete this week in the 100, 200 and 400 M events. Harry also joked with a group of Australian swimmers laughingly pretending to drop kick the kangaroo mask into the pool. Swimmer Chris Clark, 45, told Daily Mail. Calm that he almost believed Harry was serious saying, he's a lovely young man. I have thought he was serious for a moment, he can get away with things I can't. Coach Amy Beal, 33, of Perth, Australia, added, he was joking about our boxing kangaroo, his name is Skip but Chris son calls him Roger. Roger is going everywhere with Chris during this trip. She continued, Roger has a spine so Harry was asking, what have you got in there? What are you trying to smuggle through customs? The engagement, Harry's second of the day, was at the Pan Am Center, the venue for the swimming and rowing competitions. As well as Team Australia, athletes inside the venue came from all 17 competing nations, among them Team USA and Team GB. Beale said she and other members had previously met Harry during the Sydney and Vitos Games launch in June and said he had remembered him. We met him in Sydney for the launch in June so he recognized us, she said. He was talking about jet lag because he knew we had come all the way from Australia, plus our prep and weather we are ready. He's like a friend, just joking around and having fun. She added, we're quietly confident that we'll be competitive, I'm here to ensure these guys achieve what they want to. Harry's first engagement of the day was at Scotia Plaza to attend the True Patriot Love Symposium, an annual meeting that brings together representatives from non-profit foundations, business and government to discuss how best to help military veterans and their families. The agenda at this year's event, which was being live streamed online throughout the day, is focused on soldiers' well-being during both peacetime and during war. Harry spent part of the morning at the event meeting in videos competitors and their families who are taking part in a panel discussion. He congratulated a pregnant athlete who's taking part in his Paralympic style in videos games and was told she hopes to being their baby to the contest next year. Harry, 33, met Randy Gavel who's set to compete in several sports in the coming week in Toronto. The former staff sergeant, who was medically retired from the U.S. Army in 2010 after suffering a traumatic brain injury following a truck bomb blast in Iraq in 2006, is expecting a girl, she told Harry at a meeting with families at a special pre-games conference. The first question I asked my doctor was if I could still go to Canada, she told Harry when he congratulated her. I'll take it easy, I will be careful. It's a girl and we're pretty excited. She will probably have more medals before she's born. Gavel, who is four and a half months pregnant, is in Toronto with her husband Richard Hobson, the serving staff sergeant in the U.S. Army and he told Harry that maybe next year you'll meet the baby. Gavel, 
who is set to take part in rowing, swimming, sitting volleyball and trap events, then handed him a gift of a Team USA coin, and told the prince, it's so amazing for us to have this opportunity. We couldn't have done his without you. He spoke also with Mark Reedy and Karen May, who'd flown in from Australia with two of their four children. Harry posed for pictures with them and asked if they were jet-lagged and said, Are you excited? There's going to be lots of screaming and shouting. Friday's symposium explored themes including secondary PTSD, caregiver fatigue, the resilience of military children when faced with parental injuries and how sport helps the family's recovery journey too. Taking part was David Wiseman, the former U. Kate, captain at the Games. He is now head of armed forces programs at the Royal Foundation that Harry heads, along with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Afterwards, the Prince was traveling to the Pan Am Sports Center where he is expected to watch some of the training sessions taking place ahead of the Games. Friday will see the Prince hold bilateral meetings with U.S. First Lady Melania Trump, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and outgoing Canadian Governor General David Johnston. He will also take part in the Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge in Toronto's Queen Distillery District before going on to the opening ceremony at the Air Canada Centre. Joined by Melania Trump and Justin Trudeau, the Prince will see Alessia Carrot, Sarah McLaughlin and the tenors take to the stage, as well as a parade of nations and an official flag-raising ceremony. Meghan, who is understood to be in Toronto, is also a potential attendee. Although the glamorous Suits actress has not publicly disclosed whether she plans to be at the event. Earlier this month, 36-year-old spoke to Vanity Fair about her relationship with Harry, telling the magazine the couple are in love. The very public declaration sparked another round of engagement rumors, first ignited by her appearance on the sidelines at a polo match in Gloucestershire, UK, and at the Middleton's wedding in May. Although the actress has no official role in the games, she is expected to attend at least one of the events, although it is not known whether it will be with her royal boyfriend or as an individual. This year's event, the third, is being held in Toronto and follows successful games in Orlando, Florida, and London, UK. Competing nations include hosts Canada, the USA, Great Britain, Denmark, Afghanistan and Iraq, among others and a total of 550 veterans will take part. Harry is patron of the Invitos Games Foundation, which manages the event, and was in Sydney, Australia, earlier this year to launch the 2018 Games. On his return to the UK, it has been announced the Royal will take part in a two-day visit to Danish capital Copenhagen, where he will meet members of Team Denmark freshly returned from Canada. The visit, which was announced by Kensington Palace this morning, will take place on October 25th and 26th and will also include an audience with long-serving Danish head of state, Queen Margrethe II. The presence of the U.S. First Lady at the Games is a victory for Harry as it will bring huge awareness of the Games in the U.S. Mrs. Trump is leading the U.S. delegation in her first solo foreign trip. Her meeting with the Prince will be the first between a Trump and a member of the British royal family. She is bringing Las Vegas entertainer Dwayne Newton and retired gold pro Nancy Lopez, and poignantly, Karen Kelly, the wife of White House Chief of Staff John Kelly, the retired Marine General. The Kelly's son, Robert, was a first lieutenant in the Marines when he was killed in action in Afghanistan in 2010. Other countries taking part in this year's event include France, Germany, Estonia and Italy. Servicemen and women from Ukraine whose President Petro Poroshenko is in Toronto to see the Games, Jordan, the Netherlands and New Zealand will also compete. The mascot at the 2017 event is a cartoon Labrador retriever dog named Vimy. Vimy refers to Vimerich, an engagement during the World War I Battle of Arras in 1917 which saw the Canadian Corps order to storm the German position. Previous French attacks had failed, with the loss of 100,000 lives, but the men of the Canadian Corps prevailed losing 10,000 in the process. Sporting events, conducted in the style of a Paralympic-type competition, include swimming, archery, wheelchair basketball and athletics. Golf is a new addition to this year's lineup and rowing, sitting volleyball and wheelchair rugby events will also be held. Previous games have seen the latter sport include celebrity exhibition matches, although none is expected this year. Known alone quickly as murder ball. Previous participants include Derek Hawk, Mike Tindall, 
Zara Phillips and Harry himself.